Hi everyone, this is Dave Horn. I'm the creator of Action Arcade Wrestling 2 for Xbox Live Indie Games. I always thought that there were three things that made a great wrestling game. Good gameplay, a decent number of match types, and the ability to play with the wrestlers that you want to play with. Like most indie games, the one drawback we have is we don't usually have any licensed wrestlers or wrestling promotions. I mean, do you really want to play all your games with the Haunted and the Manhandler? No, me neither. Now, Action Arcade Wrestling 2 is going to come with a really good creator wrestler feature. It even comes with a paint tool that allows you to paint on the wrestler in real time. That's pretty cool for any wrestling game, let alone an indie wrestling game. You can even create your own arenas. But what if you want to get even more detailed with your wrestlers and arenas, with custom textures? Really, this has only previously been available or possible on the PC. But what if you could use all the power of PC texturing and modding, but use it on a console? Well, that's exactly what you can do with my Windows Companion application, the Action Arcade Wrestling 2 Customizer. Here's how it works. You launch the customizer from any Windows-based PC. Now, you'll eventually be able to use an Xbox formatted USB drive to transfer all of the wrestlers and arenas to and from your PC and Xbox. But as of right now at the time of this recording, the game isn't out yet, so let's just assume that you're using the customizer without a USB thumb drive. So here's the customizer running on my Windows PC, and I'm going to show you the edit mode. First off, I'm going to create a wrestler. So I'm going to click on the Create Wrestler button, and once it loads, I'm going to create a brand new wrestler. First thing I'm going to do is give him a name. So I'm going to hit the space bar, and I'm going to just type Test Wrestler. I'm going to go over to the Appearance tab, and everything that is in the game is also in the customizer. So you can change body types, you can change all of the features, reflection amount and shine, you can also choose from different hairstyles, and you can choose from different accessories. Now right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I created the manhandler because I actually created all of my wrestlers that are on the default roster through the customizer. So we'll pretend that the manhandler is actually a real wrestler that I'd like to put in my game. First off, I'm going to choose a hairstyle. We'll go with this one. And I'm going to hit the space bar. And I'm just going to position the hair just a little bit. There we go. Now normally in the game, the option at the bottom of the Appearance tab is the Paint Tool. In the Customizer, it says Custom Design. What this is going to do is allow you to put a custom texture right on the wrestler. In order to have a custom texture and to edit them, you have to have some type of photo editing tool. I use Photoshop, but there are also free options available. I'm going to be distributing these templates that allow you to create your own wrestlers. This is what the Manhandler's template looks like. Some of you may notice who have actually done some No Mercy modding that these textures are very similar to No Mercy. So if you happen to be downloading any No Mercy textures, you can see you can easily transfer them so they'll work in Action Arcade Wrestling 2. You just have to drag them in and resize them and correctly position them. So once I have the texture exactly how I want it, I'll go ahead and save out the texture as a PNG file. You can use a JPEG as well, but as you notice, the manhandler has some transparency here in his long hair. So I'm going to use a PNG file. Back over to the customizer. If I hit the space bar on the custom design, it brings up the texture importer pop-up. There are a couple things I can do here. The very first thing I want to do is hit reset layers. That way it will get rid of all mouth, nose, eyes, and other types of features that I really don't want to be handled by the edit mode anymore. I want that to be handled by the texture. 
I'm going to click Browse and browse out to my PNG file. Now if I click Update, you'll notice that he's completely textured. Now there's one little thing I'd like to do. Notice that the transparency isn't being shown here. There's white areas in the hair. All I have to do is say Remove Accessory Background Color, and now that becomes transparent. Now if I want to do any tweaks to this, I can do it in real time. Let's say I want to change a few things about the manhandler. Right now, it kind of looks like his elbow pads are a little large. And let's say I also want to make his face paint green. I'm going to go back to Photoshop. And I'll just select these layers. I'll decrease the elbow pads. And I'll also make the face paint green. Now I'll simply save over my original texture. Jump over to the customizer. And simply click update. You'll notice that the changes happen in real time. So it's real nice for people who like to texture and mod to get some real-time results very quickly. Once I save this, it's going to ask me if I want to save and exit. I'm going to click yes. And since I don't have a USB drive in, the only thing I can do is export it for later. So I'm going to choose to export this wrestler. And you can see the wrestler has been exported. The same texturing and modding is also available with arenas. Let's say I want to create a new arena and put a new logo on that ring. I'll click New Arena, jump back to Photoshop, and now I'm going to use the texture template for the arenas. Let's say I have a custom logo for the wrestling promotion I like. I can use the template. Drag it in, and I'll just resize it a little bit. Place it on the ring. Maybe get rid of the white area. And we'll save that texture out too. Back in the customizer, all I have to do is go down to custom texture, and it works the exact same way. The browse, select my ring, and hit update. And there's my new ring. If you do have a USB thumb drive with an Action Arcade Wrestling save on it, you can create wrestlers and share them with anyone. You can also import wrestlers right onto the USB drive. Then you can put the USB back in your Xbox and import them right into the game. If I go back to my desktop, you'll notice that here are all of the wrestlers that I currently have as files on my system. Here's the test wrestler that I just created. The nice thing is, is that you can do anything you want with these, including put them on message boards, email them to friends, and everyone can download and import them directly into the customizer and then right into the Xbox game. So the two questions you may have are how much is the customizer and when will it be available? Well the answers are free and right now. All you have to do is go to actionarcadewrestling.com slash customizer. Here you'll find the installation package for the customizer as well as some templates that I just showed you and some other helpful files such as videos and Word documents. Thanks for watching and I hope you really enjoy this. It's going to be one of the first console games that has its own authorized hacking system. So hopefully we'll see some great creations throughout the community. Thanks everyone.